Sharon. Thank you for coming here for an episode of Heart Toolbox on learning the liar heart. And thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Um, I got interested in this group because I was looking into a more portable version of a harp that I can bring with me. And then I saw you playing the lyre. I'm like, wow, that's a, that's a great nifty little instrument that I never considered, but then now I'm seriously considering. And then, of course, as I look into learning the lyre, there's not a lot of resource out there. So I've been picking up a lot of information about what to expect and how to play the harp and whatnot from your group. So I thought I should get you to share this uh, group with our audience uh, in case there's anyone else who are also looking into learning the liar. So tell us about this Facebook, uh, Facebook group and what can we expect in there and what kind of uh, skills or learning we might be able to get from uh, participating in your group. So the Facebook group really we created to be a safe place for everyone learning. So it's really geared for people learning. So if you're a beginner or if you're an experience, um, we have a, a few teachers there, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> so you kind of have like a, a very varied um, experiences on the liar. So what you can expect is really to find a group that's going to be there to support you, help you with your learning and, you know, find some, some guides that will work with you and find some tutorials posted there um, to help you step by step on instructions on how to play the lyre. And how about questions? Uh, does your members post questions as well to the group? Yep. Um, typically, um, most most um, of the new members would have questions and we, you know, whoever has the answers will try and answer them <laughs> as soon as we can. We don't like to leave people hanging. And if, you know, if I see that question and I have the answer, I'll answer it right away. Um, I know a few a few of the members do that as well. And if we don't know the answer, we'll get it for you. We'll find out because it's also learning for us, right? So, and the more people ask, the better it is for us because the more we learn, we love it. <laughs> That's awesome. And as a result of the group, you have started putting together resources that grow um, quite significantly in size, which lead you to have a website to augment this group. Tell us about your website. Um, yeah, the website really was born to help the group. Um, when I first um, thought thought about doing a guide, I thought maybe like a five, 10 page guide, put it in PDF that I can share with people. But the more I, I started writing that guide, the bigger and bigger it became. So it was like over 50 pages now. And I'm going, uh, I can't present it this way now, it's too big. So how can I present it so that it's more accessible and easier for people to, uh, to use? So that's why I thought of doing the website. So I broke down the guide and put them in little, in little um, topics that's more digestive, digestible for people and they can just kind of click on, on what they need to help them to get started, uh, to learn to read music, um, just the basic, the basic of it, learn to uh, play chords and learn to do chord inversions and different ways um, to play the lyre because there's really so many different ways. So um, I picked the most common types of playing and I, I posted some examples of it on that guide. And there are also tutorials that you're making. Where can we access those tutorials? Uh, the tutorials are right on the tutorial um, tab. It's free. They're also they're also on YouTube as well. So if you go on on the site, you will on on the YouTube site, you will find them there. They're just really better, more organized on the site. <laughs> That's so, you know, and everything is posted there. That's fantastic, and I'm I'm. Glad to hear that you're starting a community for learning the liar. I am in an other harp group, and there was a couple liar players who was talking about finding resource that doesn't seem to exist. So I point them to your uh, group, and I, I, I've slowly come to realize there's actually quite a lot of harp player who also play the liar. So I think yeah. uh, this is going to be a timely uh, resource for a lot of us. Well, they're very they're very closely connected. I think somebody said their lyres and harps are like you know great cousins, and I think they're even more than that yeah. <laughs> because they you know you play them you know you can play them the same way you know what you learn on the lyre and the harp you can you can put them together and and play pretty much. When I started to play the lyre, I pretty much started playing right off the bat using the skills that I know with playing the harp because it you can do it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so if I'm a harp um, player already and I'm going to go to your website, 
where would be a good starting point for me to read up on the light? Because there's quite a lot of information on your site. Well, yeah. I mean, you if you're already a harpist, then you probably want to um, not look at, you know, how to read music because you would know how to read music already. But what you would probably want to do is go on to the, um, the section where it talks about the different ways of playing the lyre because there might be another way there that might resonate more with you. So for example, when I first started playing the lyre, I played it the harp method, you know, the plucking and the rolling the chords and stuff like that. But I found after uh, getting in, introduced to the glide or the therapeutic technique, I really like that so much better. So when I play now, that's most mostly what I use because I love that technique. I find I'm, I got, I get much better tone. Or if you have, if you get a smaller lyre, maybe like a seven or a 10, a 10 string lyre, you might might want to play it the African core method, which is you use your, your thumb and your index finger because that's easier to play. So it really depends on what you want to accomplish and the size of your lyre. Awesome. I'm going to spend some time perusing the, uh, the site. I, I have been following you and your friend Connie uh, uh, unboxing your lyre. And I thought, okay, you know what? If, if you can get one, then also I can buy one too and get it shipped to my house because we're very close to each other in terms of <laughs> physical distance. So I'm looking yeah. forward to starting my lyre journey. And thank you so much for creating this amazing resource for the lyre community, Sharon. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.